first episode, take one. Well, guys, we did it. We're here. This is the first episode of the Producers Corner podcast. My name's Anna Michelle. I'm the Digital Inclusion Outreach Coordinator at Metro East. And I'm Jasmine Vasquez Sierra, and I am a digital media educator here at Metro East. My name's Seth Ring. I'm the um, Director of Education and Volunteers at Metro East. Seth, can you tell us a little bit about Metro East for listeners who might be unfamiliar? Yeah. So, Metro East Community Media is a nonprofit. We're in Gresham, Oregon, and um, we do many things. We train the public um, how to use media equipment. We also cover government meetings, so we're kind of like a local C-SPAN. And we have a production team that produces content for nonprofits, government education, um, institutions. So we're a variety pack, and sort of the, the big thrust of community media is to teach people to tell their own stories. Yeah, exactly. And this podcast is actually a big way we're doing that. Um, we have a lot of educational initiatives that we're working with. We have camps, classes, cohorts, other programming. Um, but this is really a unique experience because we have actual people from our community who are involved in this podcast, who are behind the cameras right now. This is a learning opportunity. Um, and I know, Jasmine, you've done some stuff with Metro East in the past. Could you like just share a little bit about how this is different? Yeah, so I started um, interning at Metro East right after high school, and my internship at the time was very much based on like one specific project, which was the East Metro STEAM Partnership. And it wasn't really like this cohort style. It was sort of just like working on one big thing, and then that was pretty much it. But we didn't have too much production or like on-set experience as we have right now like we were able to set up the lights and like microphones and the cameras and I think that was really valuable for the interns because this feels like a really official set like the kind of practice that we're doing with them I think seems more professional than the experience I had before not that I didn't like value that but it's really good to see that things are sort of amping up in terms of internships yeah totally um and I guess just to add a little bit more context, like this, you're seeing and or hearing this podcast, but behind the scenes, there's a lot of work. I think we've, the past month, we've been meeting every Friday with the cohort. We're learning how to use, we're filming on DSLR cameras. So DSLR cameras, learning the microphones, we're using aperture lights. So using all that equipment and then actually putting it towards something um, for that production experience. So the cohorts producing the podcast, that's one part of it. But then the podcast itself is really speaking to the diversity in this area. We're super diverse um, area of Oregon. We're here in East Multnomah County, which is kind of East Portland area. Um, and diversity and working to represent these diverse voices is a huge part of our mission here. Um, do you guys want to speak to that a little bit? Sure. So um, if you look at Oregon, um, especially East Multnomah County uh, in Oregon, there's um, something like 70 plus languages spoken. So, you know, we're, we're pretty sure we're the most sort of diverse part of, of Oregon in general. And, you know, if you look at the statistics of who's, who's making films in Hollywood, it's, um, it's pretty abysmal, like, women only represent a small portion of Hollywood directors and then people of color, a very small portion of um, um, Hollywood directors. So, and other underserved groups don't represent as, as many directors. So part of this is we're building people up to, like we said before, tell their own stories. And, and in East County, um, you know, the access to equipment and training is not as, is, can be difficult. And so that's sort of what we're trying to provide is that access to equipment and training. And we're a nonprofit. So um, generally, like, you know, we do have a membership fee, but a lot of times people just sort of participate for free. And that's what we want is, you know, to for people to learn how to make this content so they can get their story out there and their voice out there. And that's part of what's what I like about this podcast is 
you know, part of what we do is we produce content for cable channels. So we're, you know, I always say that I like to do triple word scores when we, <laughs> when we do something like we win on multiple fronts. So we're training people, we're creating content and we're, um, we're sort of putting the spotlight on um, producers in our area. So it's a, it's a win on multiple levels. Yeah. I'd love to speak a little bit more about like who we're going to be talking to. We have some awesome producers who create content here in Metro East. And there's also a lot of great producers, not just filmmakers, but visual artists, musicians who are putting out great stuff here in East County. Um, who are some of the people that we might talk to you guys? Well, we have um, at Metro East, we have community producers that um, already produce content. And they're just, you know, some of them, one of them, Larry Smith, has been here for 30 plus years producing the Body Smith. So I think he might be one of our first episodes. But we have sort of in house producers. So, um, you know, Larry Smith was one of the people I mentioned. But then we have another couple, their name, um, Anibal and Mate. They produce a show called Loco por la Aventura which is an outdoor adventure show aimed at the Latinx crowd. One of our producers, she's a dentist, and uh, Suhair produces a show on dentistry. So um, it's, it's meant to run the gamut. And I think that's kind of part of what's cool about what we do here is like somebody can produce a show on dentistry and it doesn't really matter. Like we're not going to cancel their show because the ratings ain't great, you know? There's like we said, there's different stories. Some are about teeth and some are about summiting mountains. So I think very different stories. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> both worth listening to. Uh we're making media accessible. Maybe one day we'll we'll interview each other. Um, but until then, I think if you guys each want to speak or we can all share a little bit about ourselves so that the listeners um yeah, have a bit of our background. Yeah. Um, so I was born and raised in Gresham, so I feel like being a part of the Metro East community is really important to me because I know like firsthand how diverse this area is and I love Gresham so much and just like the East County area because this is where my community is. And so I'm really glad that we're able to sort of have this space to share our voices and our stories. Um, and in addition to that, I come from a Oaxacan Mexican background. And I think to me that is really integral to who I am because like raise, being raised up in Gresham and coming from that background has like created like a really interesting mix of culture for me. Um, and I got into film and media uh, sort of in high school. I was really interested in it. And I started going to Cal, which is the Center for Advanced Learning. And I participated in the digital media and design program. And that's how I was able to get the internship at Metro East because they had that partnership together. Um, and then after that, I studied film at PSU and it was something that I didn't initially want to do at first. I wasn't really wanting to go to university, um, but luckily I went through with it and it was just a really great experience. Um, definitely had a lot of challenges throughout university. I think that's just kind of the way that it goes. But from there, um, I was initially really interested in production, but as time went on, I also started gaining more interest in like education because I had some really great professors um, in my life. And so now I'm at Metro East after doing like an internship and I was also part of the BIPOC contractor program, um, which is an opportunity that we have here to sort of amplify people of color on the crew. And um, that experience was also really valuable for me because it made me feel like a professional. Like I wasn't just a university student, but I was also getting other opportunities to be on sets and to gain um, knowledge while also being paid for it, which I thought was really great. Um, and now that I'm at Metro East working here officially, it really feels like I've made a full circle moment, um, which I'm really glad for because I am very passionate about filmmaking and making media in general. So it feels great to be here. Yeah. Wow. It is full circle. I know you were 
in a middle school choir performance and yeah that was recorded by metro east so <laughs> hey <laughs> um i can share a little bit about me too um i'm not from gresham or from portland at all i'm from florida um grew up there went to college in los angeles went to loyola marymount studied film i actually had an interesting like possible career path alternative one um i applied to half of my colleges as a chinese language major and the other half as film i kind of maxed out of the spanish classes in high school um which may be hard to believe because my spanish isn't so great now but i did i did max out of them and then i was interested in learning chinese so i was doing that but i think still um you know, I'm not studying Chinese anymore and don't speak it very well, but I've always been interested in different cultures and and learning from other people. So, yeah, I went the film route um, and I think after college, I did some a lot of freelance work. I've worked with um, a lot of documentary filmmakers. Most recently, I was an assistant to an impact producer for a documentary called Los Hermanos, the Brothers, which was on PBS. And they actually just re-aired it, I think, in September of 2023 for Hispanic Heritage Month. So that's really cool. It's about Afro-Cuban musicians, and I'm Cuban as well. So um, really cool story. And I think film filmmaking tied to impact is what I really care about. I've done that work in the past, and I consider now my work at Metro East working in outreach and digital inclusion. It's still using film for for good probably my my coolest credit is i was a production assistant on this netflix series called mer people that was about all these mer we call mermaids and mermen um <laughs> down in miami so that was super cool so yeah i'm just i feel like i'm trying to soak up new experiences like a sponge i'm still learning but also like jasmine i like educating as well so i've got great teachers above me and then i try to pass that knowledge down uh, through this hands-on experience and now with Producers Corner, which I am have a big hand in producing. So that's me, and that leaves you, Seth. Okay. Um, so my background, um, I, I went to school for biology, and I, I double majored in, uh, in college in biology and Hispanic studies. Like I wanted to go to a Latin American country and speak Spanish and do biology, which I did. Um, but I kind of fell in love with using video to talk about science. And um, I ended up going to uh, the Montana State has a science and natural history filmmaking program. So I sort of learned about, you know, how to make film, sort of how we, when we make science films, what are the sort of biases that we incorporate into them, like anthropomorphizing animals and stuff like that, um, um, among many things. Uh, but I also, there's an undergraduate film program there. So I was able to work as AD on a lot of sets and have, you know, I, I always tried to, I often did sort of narrative style film because I was very interested in um, children's film. And um, that sort of, that was, that planted the seed. I also was doing um, workshops for youth um, on, on science filmmaking. And, and as I've grown as a filmmaker, I've also grown as an educator. And when I saw this position open, I was like, yes, please, because I'd done a bunch of freelance stuff um, and I had the opportunity to both produce and to teach. And now a lot of what I do is sort of coordinate people and connect with partners so we can do our cohorts with different nonprofits and that kind of thing. Um, and for me, you know, I don't produce, I don't, I'm not using a camera a lot, but I, I do a lot of sort of co-producing on films that people make or edit or shoot. And I, for me, it's really rewarding and kind of, I think you touched on this a little bit, like, you know, I, it's really important to me to change the messaging that's out there. You know, like uh, one of the things I always like to say is like, if you're watching a commercial on Fruity Cocoa Pebbles, it's education. Whether you like it or not, you're teaching some something to somebody. And I'd like us to, and or whatever movie you're watching, whatever it is, people are watching something and, and people sort of soak up whatever's being screened. And it'd be nice if we could change some of what's being screened, like who's who are telling those stories and, and what are we talking about? 
And that's what's really rewarding about this job is I get to help empower people to do that. Um, so I've sort of taken, I've stepped aside from doing as much of like, I make the film, I produce all of it to like kind of teaching people how to do that process. And um, that's what I, that's part of why I really like what we're doing right here, you know? Yeah, it's a super powerful thing. Um, and it's, it's exciting to be a part of. Um, this is all like, in some ways we're figuring it out as we go. So we'll see how each episode goes. Each of us will be hosting episodes. Maybe I'll host some. You guys will host some. Just depends on the guest. Whether you're watching or listening, um, watching, maybe you're on YouTube. If you're on our Metro East Cable channels, that is awesome. Send us an email because we would love to know uh, if you're watching on cable. It's info at metroeast.org. Info at metroeast.org. You can also follow us on Instagram at Metro East Media. That's also our Facebook handle. And to find out more information, you can visit metroeast.org. That's it for Producers Corner. Again, I'm Anna Michelle. I'm Jasmine Vasquez Sierra. Seth Ring. Uh, I'll say my last name too. Anna Michelle Morejon. Uh, and thanks for joining us on our first episode. 